We know that weather events on Earth can be terrifying and even deadly. But elsewhere in the solar system, the weather can get even more extreme, with phenomena that only marginally resemble Earth's own. Winds that would easily kill you, rains that would melt or crush you, unique lightning and aurorae that would give you a tan. Alien weather is truly something else. Number 7. Extreme Temps on Mercury Mercury is super simple when it comes to weather. Why? Well, it barely has an atmosphere. This lack of atmosphere is actually the reason why Mercury experiences such crazy temperatures. Being the closest planet to the Sun, you'd expect Mercury to be hot, right? Yeah, it is. But without an atmosphere, Mercury can't keep the heat. So it swings from being insanely hot, over 800 degrees Fahrenheit, to unbelievably cold, like 290 below zero. Imagine visiting Mercury. You'd have two extreme choices for your trip. Either turn into a Cuban ice cube or get toasted to a crisp. Number 6. Poison Acid Sauna on Venus Now, Venus might look pretty from afar, but it's a pretty inhospitable place. However, at about 55 kilometers up, things get interesting. The temperature there is pretty nice, and the pressure is just a bit over half of Earth's atmosphere. Sounds cool, right? You might even dream of a floating city there. But wait, the problem is the clouds. The Venusian clouds are made of sulfuric acid, covering the entire planet in a toxic blanket. Due to this dense air, Venus retains much more of the sun's radiation. This cooks the surface of the planet to a consistent 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And like a hellish rainforest, the heat is accompanied by super corrosive sulfuric acid drizzling from the sky. Venus's surface is so hot though, any rain evaporates before it can hit the ground or explodes violently when the sulfuric acid makes contact with some water. One of the two. And if the acid and heat weren't enough, Venus is also under intense pressure at 92 times Earth's atmospheric pressure. Needless to say, no attempts to send a person to Venus have been made, and any probes that made it there couldn't make it past a couple of hours on that treacherous surface. Number 5. Polar Sandstorms on Mars Thought by some to have the potential secret to life on Earth beneath their polar caps, the dry, dusty, red surface of Mars certainly resembles a drought-ridden wasteland. Scientists believe the planet once had running water, thus necessitating precipitation and by default an atmosphere. But with no remnants of an atmosphere to be found, dust tornadoes plague the surface of Mars. These violent cyclones tear through the red landscape and can even expand to envelop the planet over the course of a couple of days. Rivaling the dust disasters that cover Mars are the intense snowstorms located at the planet's polar ice caps. To make them even stranger, these blizzards are made of dry ice, also known as frozen carbon dioxide. Less extreme, though, are the temperatures on the planet. Mars, like Mercury, doesn't have much, if any, atmosphere. But, as the fourth planet from the Sun, Mars attains much more moderate temperatures, whereas one spot on the planet could be 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the Sun, and that same spot in the shade could be as low as negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Since these facts all point towards some sort of potential habitability on Mars, researchers hope to have a man on Mars in the next few decades. Number 4. Earth-sized hurricane on Jupiter First up, the Great Red Spot. This isn't your average storm. It's a gigantic hurricane that's been raging for about 400 years. Yep, Galileo himself spotted it way back when. This storm is so huge, it could fit three Earths inside it. In recent years, a new storm identified as Little Red Spot has sprouted up and begun to churn. It's shown signs of increasing in speed and size since its appearance. Jet streams cover Jupiter as well, 
with nearly 30 of them racing across the surface at speeds reaching over 300 miles per hour. Some of these jet streams align with the Great Red Spot and are actually responsible for keeping it somewhat restrained. Meanwhile, other jet streams appear to have another purpose, as scientists have recently identified them as being composed of frozen ammonia. The temperature at that part of the atmosphere reaches a dismal negative 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Even stranger than these frozen speeding ammonia clouds comes in the recent discovery that Jupiter can even form diamonds in its atmosphere. Raining jewels? No, that's some out-of-this-world weather. Number 3. Methane Lakes on Titan If you are keen on a sojourn to a world with rain and dense atmosphere, but you would like to survive the experience, let us recommend visiting Titan instead. Saturn's largest moon is covered by a thick atmosphere and is the only other body in the solar system apart from Earth with rivers, lakes, and seas on its surface. The only difference is that they are not made of water, they're methane. This may be a bit disappointing if you get the chance to view the massive moon, since it looks so much like Earth. But methane has a much lower melting point than water, at 295.6 degrees Fahrenheit. This means the methane endures cycles similar to Earth, with solid methane melting to liquid before precipitating back down upon the planet. The thick atmosphere surrounding Titan allows for what little heat permeates the surface to stick around and keeps the precipitation cycle fresh. This doesn't make the moon any easier to visit, but at least gives insight to scientists of analogous functions that occur across the solar system. Some even think the atmosphere could be perfect for life to flourish, or perhaps it already has. Number 2. Neptune's Mega Wind – Faster Than the Speed of Sound Neptune is no stranger to extreme weather. It shares the cool feature of diamond rain and weather bands with other gas giants. But there's something unique about its topography. Neptune is pretty flat, and this flatness means there's nothing to slow down the winds. And let me tell you, Neptune's winds are no joke. They're the fastest in the solar system, hitting speeds of 1500 miles per hour. That's 1.6 times the speed of sound. Imagine witnessing the sound barrier break on another planet, though you'd probably be a popsicle by then because it's freezing out there. Now, let's talk about Neptune's largest moon, Triton. This moon is not only cold, but also the coldest place in the solar system with average temperatures around minus 315 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton is a sight to behold with its pink polar ice caps. Scientists think it's slowly losing layers of nitrogen ice, which forms clouds around the moon. But Triton's got another quirk, its orbit. It circles Neptune in the opposite direction to most moons. This odd orbit leads scientists to believe that Triton might eventually collide with Neptune in the next 10 to 100 million years. If that happens, it could be torn apart and form a stunning icy ring around the planet. Number 1. Comet Mode on Pluto You might know Mercury and Io for their wild temperature swings, but Pluto takes it to a whole new level. Pluto has an incredibly elliptical orbit that brings it super close to the Sun and then takes it far away. At its farthest point, Pluto is completely frozen, like a cosmic ice cube. But as it gets closer to the Sun, things start to heat up, and not just a little. When Pluto warms up, it develops a gassy atmosphere, almost making it look more like a comet than a planet. And get this, it even forms a tail during its orbit, just like a comet. This weird, comet-like behavior is actually one of the reasons why Pluto lost its status as a planet and became known as a dwarf planet. All right, space lovers, that's a wrap on our journey through the wild, extreme weather of our solar system. But we're not done yet. If you're as fascinated by these out-of-this-world phenomena as we are, hit that like button, share this video with your fellow space enthusiasts, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.
Your support helps us bring more amazing space content to you.